more important, making good music or making music that will sell? That's a very tough question for me to answer because um, I like to think that I only make good music that sells. <laughs> and I, I'm just being honest, you know, we have a, we have at our publishing company, Artist Publishing Group, um, a very high bar creatively and we never rush out music, we never put stuff out that we don't feel like we have a stamp on that is good. Now good is a very subjective term, you know. You might come with a with a dance record or a pop record that's incredibly well written and cool, um, but some people are going to think it's amazing, and some people are going to think that it's you know that it's not that's not amazing. I mean, it's food and music are very similar. You know, some you could give somebody the best gourmet meal, but it doesn't taste like McDonald's, and they like the way McDonald's French fries taste, and you know, they don't think that the gourmet meal is incredible. You know, you could play people today like Leonard Cohen, who's one of the best songwriters and artists of all time, and, you know, they might not think that, you know, Leonard Cohen's amazing. Well, I mean, it's subjective. You know, I think he's amazing, but I know a lot of people that would probably don't think he's amazing. Good music is a tough thing to define, but our goal is to always make great music that sells as well.